him shake yo Boy, you like it in shake yo Boy, you like it in shake yo Boy, you like it in shake yo The shade toys All right, ladies and gentlemen, today is the day for the Grand Prix 500 of the Pinewood Derby. Our car just got out of the paint booth. Suntard, are you excited? Uh -huh. Now we have it in the drying stall, which is nothing but mommy's blow dryer, stuffed in a vase, stacked on her makeup kit, stacked on her fingernail polish tray. I know, I see. Yeah, rock hard threw some stuff on top of it. Here it is, here's our racer. What do you guys think? I'm calling it the silver bullet. The silver bullet. I like this little blue arrow. We use some of Mommy Tard's <laughs> fingernail polish to do a little titanium blue arrow on the top. Don't, Don't touch, you it. touch it. Again. You get it your butt kicked. And we're gonna race today. It's race day. You gonna win? Race day. What yes, if you I'm don't win? win? What if you don't win? Yeah, I don't know. Huh? You still have fun even if you don't win? Right? Because that's yep. what it's about, having fun. Last year when we were putting Suntard's wheels on, we accidentally got some glue in the tires. So it, like, and it was slow. And it, was it was the slowest car chocolate on the track. Cake. But he did win a chocolate cake. That's yeah. true. All right, big day. Let's go. We're going to wait for the paint to dry. We're then gonna we're going to. Rock Tard, what are you doing in the sink? Huh? Yeah. Is that your bathtub? Going Don't turn the water on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. Dobby, 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 dobby. All right, here we go. Race day. We're going to win. All right, so we're in the truck. We're headed to the Pinewood Derby. Sun Tart and Mommy Tart are there. They had to go early to help set up. You guys ready? Yes. Yeah. Do you got your funniness ready? Do I have my what? Your funniness. Oh no. I left it at the house. Dang it. I told you to bring it. You were the one who was responsible for it and I had to get Rock Tard ready. But I said, Princess Tard, will you please grab my funniness before we go? I said get Rock Tard shoes and grab my funniness and now I don't have it. I got him ready because he was in his underwear, okay? Oh no, what am I going to do? I don't have my funniness. Dang it! Everybody's gonna think I'm a horrible MC for the Pinewood Derby. They're never gonna ask me to do it again. I'm gonna tell them that you have to be fired. Unless I can find some extra funniness. Here, I'll give you some extra funniness. <laughs> there. Oh, that was the burst of funniness I needed. I was gonna say, can I borrow some of yours? Because you're pretty funny, and if I could borrow some of yours, that would help me out a lot. You. you think you're funnier than me? Maybe we should have a funny off. <laughs> A joke contest, if you will. <laughs> okay, we're going to the Pinewood Derby. Let's win! Yeah! All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. This is the car that's going to win it all. Tell me the name of this, Suntard. What is the name of it? The Diome. The Diome? Or, I forgot I the car's cool name. name from the Back to the Future. Oh, the, uh, oh, my heavens to Mercatroyd. What's it called? The DeLorean. <laughs> the DeLorean? Yeah, the DeLorean. What'd you call it? The Diome? <laughs> I kind of like that. Why don't you go over and tell us about what's uh, the features on this car? Where's that? Yeah, yellow you. sticker, and what we had to add some on? money for weight because it has Dad. to be five ounces. What'd you get? Oh, dude, you got a pit pass, dog? Yeah. You're in pit row, man. All right, you gonna win? Uh -huh. I hope you win. But remember, it doesn't matter if you win or not. It's about if we had a good time making it. Yeah. But and also, it's fun to win. yeah, it's funner to win. Don't forget that. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, we're at the Pinewood Derby. Look at who is emceeing again this year. My one and only sweetheart. And we've got this program that's kind of working. It's not working perfectly. We've got two more rounds. But we're doing our best. The process of elimination yeah. here. Okay, are we ready? Good luck to Dominic, Hayden, Micah, and Justin. May the best car win. On your marks, get set, go. Down the track, they go. Green out the front. The Suntarns raced twice, Three, two, and I missed one, it because four. it was a good one. But we'll be uh, victory. We'll be filming him. Round of applause. Dude, are you ready? I'm in lane four, that's the fast lane. You in lane four? Okay, you missed it two cars, I hope you, you guys. win, I hope you win. We tell need us, cars 100 what, and cars 14. Tell us what you've gotten so far. Two third places? I got all third places except one fourth. One fourth? Car 14, okay. Barlow. Okay, here we go. Let's go down to the end so we can see what happens. You guys got him? Here we go. Line marks. Four. Get set, so go. Good. Oh, good. Three, third place. one, four, two. 
Woo! Dude, I think third is your lucky number. Yeah, I might get the third place trophy. Yeah, maybe. You never know. Hey, little you man. Did? Hey, little we man. Did too. How you doing? Sorry, mom. Did you guys find some snacks? On your marks, get set, go. Did you find some snacks? Oh, you're such a good cousin. Green That's the one to look out for. Little man's having fun. Hey, rock hard. Three, one, four, two. Do you need to go feed me in the potty? With a burning Are victory sure? down the track. Don't go in your pants, okay? <laughs> Up next, Grant. Grant. Right, All right, you guys want to see some of the cars? Fine. This is a halo car. Right. So unique. Ten this is fun cars. We call it the DeLorean. Bring your car. We have two at the end, you guys. Go pick your cars up if you oh, just race. One. Have we the done Black this one? Knight. The Black Knight. Here's Rob Tard's favorite. He loves the Batman. Okay, we ready? Look, it's even got guns. The Jordan, Batmobile. Jordan, Cameron, and Dada. Look at this one. This one looks futuristic. Oh my goodness, how cool is that one? It's a skateboard. That one is snake. Who's the MC? He's so handsome. Run with jokes. The crowd is turning on Dude, me. you haven't run out of jokes because I just got a compliment from somebody that said you're amazing. Oh, really? Yes. That's going to buy you up. They're all just shy. They're too shy. They're all giggling inside, honey. All right, we're making a repair. Apparently, somebody <laughs> dropped one of these cars, and the weights in the bottom fell out. Let's see. One of the judges. <laughs> one of the judges is what I mean. Whoops. Do you have anything to say about the judges? <laughs> Do you have a complaint? All complaints must be submitted in the form of writing. <laughs> okay, here we go. Sundar's racing again. Let's see how he does. Grant, Dominic, Henry, Gavin is ready to race. Here we go. Let's go. And they come down the track racing them. Blue car, man. One, two, three, four. Didn't quite get one, two, anything three, four. that time. Girl. One, two, three, four in that order. Are you bummed, dude? Yeah, it's all right. Oh, well, we had fun building it. We'll get them next year. Hey, guys, if you didn't know, uh, Rodeo Arcade just got some new shirts. Uh, Zoe from Rodeo Arcade just got me some of these new shirts. Check out this shirt I'm wearing. I am curious. I'm going to do an experiment right now. See this shirt? Who's that? Okay, look. Here's the experiment. Here's the experiment right now. Rocktard, who's this? Me, Kai Venture! Who is it? Uh, me, Kai! You know that's Malachi? Yeah, me, Kai! Dude, good boy! I thought you would forget about Malachi. Hey! Oh, yeah, that's what? Me, Kai! It's Malachi, not Mia Kai. Say Malachi! Me, Kai! Malachi! <laughs> <laughs> he remembered the experiment worked. I thought, I wonder if Rockheart sees this picture. Malachi. Yeah, it's Malachi. If he'll remember, because he was so young when Malachi Elmo. died. Who's that? Elmo. Elmo. Yeah. That makes me feel happy that he remembers Malachi. Almost make your butt. Oh, sorry, I didn't hit him. I swear, I didn't hit him. <laughs> what? Dude, don't be jealous because Malachi has a shirt. Okay. We had him first. We love him just a little bit more than you. Hi, Zeke. Who's that? Zeke. And Zeke. A lot of you, overwhelmingly, we were getting flooded with people wanting to have well, Malachi we shirts. Go, we go, so we made Malachi shirts. And uh, if you want one, you can go to rodeoarcade.com. Link's right there. You can go get a Malachi shirt. And we have brand new um, rainbow shirts. I showed you in yesterday's vlog. Malachi lives on forever. It's Malachi! Oh, I'm so happy that you remember who he was. I remember too. And potty training update, Mr. Rockhart is doing a heck of a job. He has gone pee pee in the potty. He's doing really good. I'm proud of you, buddy. He's gonna, hey, probably in a week, he'll be totally potty trained. When are you gonna be potty trained? Oh, hop up here, hop up here. Yeah. Got my running shoes on and just landed in New York City. I'm about to go running. Hey guys, I just thought I would add this little clip at the end of today's video. This is real time. It's Monday and I just landed in New York City. I'm here at my hotel and I just heard about what happened in Boston and I... You know, in these situations, you don't know what to say. It's crazy to think, but I was six minutes away from being at that race. If I was six minutes faster at my St. George Marathon, today I would be in Boston at that race. I've been overwhelmed by so many of your tweets who have said that, you know, God watches over us and answers prayers in and, and hidden ways. It just... <sighs> It's hard to know what to say right now. I'm just like kind of, it's all sinking in. If you know about my uh, St. George Marathon, you knew that I was trying to qualify for the Boston Marathon and I just barely missed it. The qualify time is three hours and five minutes and I did it in three hours and 11 minutes. It's crazy to think now because the entire race, 
I was ahead of Boston qualifying time the entire race until the last two miles. For some reason, in the last two miles, something happened where I just, I couldn't keep the pace anymore. And at the time I thought, well, it's just because I wasn't, you know, ready. I just wasn't, hadn't trained enough and I wasn't in, you know, the shape that I needed to be in to qualify for that time. But I don't know, man. Hindsight's twenty twenty. I guess. Like, I look back on it now, and it's like, I don't know. I'm not saying that, you know, God made me run slower so I wouldn't be there today, but that doesn't matter. You know, it's not about me and about, you know, what could have been. Really, we need to just think about the people that are in Boston. Not only the people that are suffering and that were injured, but their family. The people that have to, you know, ask those questions. Why? Why did this happen to me? So my thoughts are with everybody in Boston today and everybody who was in that race and everybody who has to deal with you know, somebody else's horrible decision to try to hurt other people. You don't know what to say in these situations. I feel like I'm, you know, somehow connected with those people though, because I know what it's like to train for a marathon, and it is not easy. It takes time and sacrifice and dedication, and to add this tragedy on top of what's supposed to be like the culmination of a lot of hard work and effort is just, it's so unfortunate and it sucks. So I just feel like I can't do anything. The only thing only I can do is is literally kneel down and say a prayer for them that their burdens will be lightened. And I feel like I want to go running. I feel like I just some I don't know why in my mind, but that just feels like it'll help me connect with them somehow because I know how hard it is to train and to prepare for that. My thoughts are with them. I'm going to go for a run right now in New York City and just think about those who uh, you know, who either lost their lives or were injured or who had somebody, friends or family who are involved in that tragedy today. Be thankful for the moments you have with your friends and family. And I know bad things are happening all over the world all the time, but this is just close to us. So my thoughts are with them and now I'm going to go running and think about them. And that's the only thing I can do right now is pray and run. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. When heaven seems so